On the streets, people communicate non-stop through messages, mail and voice, but also recently transact business or even exchange money. Mobile banking is growing fast in Uganda and it is delivering savings services to the millions of people who have a cell phone but no bank account. One which is quite exciting is the fact that you can pay somebody, you can pay anybody um, around the country on a mobile phone. All you've got to do is to transfer money from your account or your mobile wallet to anybody's phone. You send the money to the phone. According to Bank of Uganda, mobile money transfers in 2013 reached 640 million US dollars and subscribers are above 12 million. Mobile telephone companies have largely been in charge of the mobile money service, but recently banks are also coming on board. The entrance of banks into the mobile market has added another level of convenience to mobile users since they will avoid queuing at banking halls. Bankers say that users will also earn interest on money stored on their mobile wallets. MTN Uganda, the biggest mobile service provider in the East African country, has registered close to 2.5 million people on the mobile money service and forecast that there will be 3.5 million subscribers by the end of this year. If you look at mobile telephone uh, penetration, uh, probably it's four times, four times much uh, deeper than, uh, than banks and bank accounts. So uh, if we would like to reach as many people and attract them into the banking, in the banking sector, in the financial world, uh, then you've got to use the mobile telephone. Mobile money transfer has become popular because it also reduces costs and the risks associated with cash transactions. However, some users say safety issues need to be addressed. People have taken advantage of it and people are actually being conned because of that mobile money thing. Somebody sends you a message, you read it, you see it is a mobile money message, when actually he has not sent the money, but he calls you again to con you. But service providers say they are strengthening security to mobile delivery channels and devices so they can track all transactions. Michael Baleke, CCTV, Kampala, Uganda.